Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I create Falcon BMS videos covering missions and tutorials. If you're wondering how to create your own mission in BMS, this video is definitely for you. I assume most are coming from DCS, so you should be familiar with the mission editor to create your own custom missions. In BMS, we call our custom missions Tactical Engagements, or TEs, and inside that we have our editor as well. In my opinion, it is easier to create a mission in BMS because in DCS, each steer point has to be set manually. In BMS, that and many other things are done automatically. In this video, I will cover the basics of editing TEs in Falcon BMS. First, click on the tactical engagement. Click on training. These are all the training missions that the developers have included in BMS. If you go to saved, by default, you have TE BMS 00 through 08. These are the default missions that the developers have included in BMS. If you're wanting more information, please reference the user manual that BMS has in the Falcon BMS install folder. Go to Docs and then BMS Manuals. We'll have everything there. These are all the missions I've created, but in this case, we'll create our own. Go to TE Builder. Right here, it'll create a blank map of the current theater you are in. In this case, it is Korea. At the top here, don't have to worry about all these. All you have to worry about is save. So once you have your mission, go ahead and save it as something you want to call it. I'll name mine example. After you save your TE, by default, it'll be where you save BMS, your data. If you have it in another theater, find your theater, click on it, go to campaign. Since we are in Korea, it is in the first campaign you see. So it's in this one. Click on that, find the name of your TE, highlight all the files that has the same name, right click, send to, and compress folder. Send this to someone else if you want to share it with them. And then they just have to put it in their campaign folder as well. Once you save something, when you click on it again, it might not come up here. Make sure you click on the correct one so you don't overwrite one of your other missions. Once you press save, it'll ask you when to replace it. If you want to replace it, press OK. Restore button restores the mission to the last save that you had. Be careful with this button. It can get you in trouble. Tactical reference is all of the aircraft and bombs and ships in the game. Over here is the current time that the TE will start. Here we have day 1, first day, 7.30 Zulu at 1630 local time. And this is the button that exits. Caution, BMS does not ask if you want to save your game before you exit. So before you exit, make sure you save your mission. Top here you got help, you got some manual options, and here is team. So here is the green, this is the US team. If you click on it, it'll be blue, which is South Korea. Brown is Japan, with red being the DPRK, China being yellow, and Russia being orange. When you click this, this applies the faction to the unit that you are creating when you right click and press add package, flight, or battalion. So make sure you are selected on the correct faction or team you want to use. In this case, will be United States. As you can see, there are a lot of symbols. To change these symbols and declutter it, right click, go to installations, you have some options there. Air units, options there. Ground units, option there. If you want more information on that, go to your user manual on page 154. It goes over what each of them do. Before you create a mission, it is a good idea to know what airfield you are taking off from. In this case, we'll take off from Osan. I will also create some AWACS and some tankers that will take off from other air bases. So make sure you have a couple air bases where you want your tankers and your AWACS to take off from. In this case, I will have Osan and Gutsan. If you hover your mouse over the airfield or a object, the name of it shall appear. So creating the AWACS first, right click at the area you want the AWACS to orbit, Right click, press package. Time on target will be right when I get into the game. So the current time is 7.30. So I'll change the current time for the time on target to 7.30. In this case, I want the time on target to correspond to the flight I'm creating. To do that, you have to click on this lock symbol on the right here. If you want to do takeoff, you want to click on this one right here. But in this case, I want to do time on target. So I want the time that the aircraft is on to target or the orbit time will be 7.30, which is local time, which is the current time right now. So time on target is 7.30, press new. Go ahead and go to your aircraft. So I'm gonna create an AWACS 
or uh, it also enables Link 16 as well, so E3 Sentry. It does AWACS things, size will be 1, squadron is new, being that there's no squadrons. And here is where you have to remember your airfield. So Goonsan Air Force Base and target is where you right clicked and I'll press OK. It creates a path right there automatically. Go and press OK. It is already over the target because the time on target is set to 730. You can manipulate the times by left clicking and manipulating times, but I will not go over that in this video. Now I want to create a tanker. I'm going to make the tanker over here, right click, press add package. I want to do the same thing, time on target for 730. I'm going to go back for the hours on 730. Press new. Go to the tanker KC-135 or KC-10. In this case, I want to use the KC-10. Air refuel, only one, new because there's no squadron. Air base, I want to use the same as the AWACS, Kunsan, and everything else is the same. Press OK. And that's been created. Press OK and it's created. Now that I have the tankers out, tankers and support out the way, so now I'm going to create the package that my humans will actually be able to fly. So I'm going to take off from Osan and I want to attack this airbase. So right click on the airbase, press add package. Make sure that you choose the takeoff time so that will apply to the flight that you create by clicking on this lock here. Make sure it's green. Usually you want the takeoff time to be 20 or 30 minutes after the current time in the game. If you want to be airborne already, make sure that this time is before the current time in the game. In this case I want it for 750, so I'll choose it for 750. Go ahead and press new. Choose the aircraft that I want. In this case I'll do a block 50. Oka Strike will be the mission. Size 4. Squadrons are gonna it's gonna be a new squadron. Airbase will be Osan. And the skill level doesn't matter, it only applies to AI. Humans can up can get into the aircraft without selecting this as a client, like in DCS. So this doesn't matter what you choose. Humans will still be able to fly it. Press OK, it creates the steer points and the times in there. This right here made sure that my takeoff time is 7.50. We'll create another one. I'm gonna go to F-15s for a escort flight. I'm gonna go to escort four, gonna be a new squadron. Air base will be the same as the Vipers. Target will need to make sure that it's your escort flight you want them to escort. So in this case, I'll choose Mustang one. I'm gonna press OK, and it does that as well. Press OK, and both of them have been created. To edit their weapons, you go to the ATO, Air Tasking Order. Right here, I only have one faction, the US. Click on the faction you want to adjust. Click on the type of mission and the package. Then, you choose the flight you want to adjust. Choose the flight. If you want to adjust the weapons, go into flight. Press this button here, it'll take into the loadout. Here's the loadout, adjust it as you want. I will not go over this in detail in this video. Basically you choose whichever miss missile or bomb you want to put on the aircraft and then you press OK. If you want to create threats on the other side, make sure you press the team and select the team you want to apply it to. So in this case I want to create an SA-2 at this area. I'm going to go to add battalion. DPRK for equipment, air type, the unit type will be an SA-2, press OK, SA-2 appears, and in BMS, unlike DCS, the threat circles do not automatically appear, you have to set that manually. To do that, right click, set pre-planned threat steer point, click on, click on that, it'll create a diamond, left click to get this box, choose whatever threat it is, in this case it's the SA-2, Press accept and move it over. So now I want to create a line of the border. I'm going to right click, press set steer point line. You have four options here. I'm going to do additional steer point line and steer four. It creates a dot there. Same thing, steer point line, steer four, and do it again. And now I have a line there. Once you do that, you need to press save DTC. This saves the lines and it also it saves the threat circles in BMS when you create them. Please note that it will not save the DTC if you press save and your if you save your mission. It only saves it by the DTC save down here. 
For enemy aircraft, again, just like the blue aircraft, make sure you know which airfield you want them to take off from. In this case, I'll use this T airbase. So remember that. I want them to orbit around this area. So right click, add package, take off time. I want it to be around the time that our blue forces get out there. You choose a position on their steer points by left clicking. It'll give you the steer points there. In this case, they'll be at this position at 8.07. I want them to be on station around 8.07. I'll change the application for the time on target time. It says 8.30 right now. I'm going to change it to 8 or 8 o'clock on the dot so they'll be out there by the time my blue forces get out there. Press new. Change it to a red aircraft. In this case, I'll change it to a SU-27. It's going to be DCA four aircraft I'm going to create a new squadron these air bases only apply to the team that you're on if you're on the US side it'll only be US type airfields so that's how you can kind of catch yourself if you're on the wrong air if you're on the wrong faction so Teton air base skill level is ace and click OK and it creates a steer point for the aircraft to orbit at of course you can change this where you want the time on target was set to 8 o'clock, so left click on that. Time on target, time on station, force tier point 3 is 8 o'clock. Press OK, and that's good to go. And now I've covered the major points on how to create your missions in Falcon BMS. If you have any questions, please reference the manual, but feel free to ask down below in the comments. Hopefully you learned something, and happy flying. See ya.